The advertising mantra has always been about personalization, but it seems things are moving more into the relevance realm. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of relevance? Well, I don't know if personalization and relevance are necessarily entirely orthogonal. Um, if you think about it, right, what makes something relevant? Well, it's relevant because it resonates with, with you, with a person, right? At the end of the day, it's always people that are absorbing advertising and are making brand decisions. So personalization, I think, is often used as a term to talk about maybe a series of tools or approaches, a, a way that we think about like a technical method of advertising. But you can't separate relevancy from people, right? Um, so when I think about like how things are moving, personalization is, is actually, I think, increasing. It's still accelerating. We're just personalizing more and more things now because we have better tools and better technologies. I think the thing that's most exciting about CTV is that people have finally come, I think there's been a mass realization, it's just television. And all of the things that were great about television and all of the reasons that we wanted to advertise in television, that exist in CTV. Premium, long form content, 30 second ads, the best storytelling device ever created, and it's still available. But now we have all of these new amazing tools. The digitization allows us to do things like think about addressability, think about measurement differently. So in a lot of ways, it's what we've been asking for from television for the last several decades, it's finally here. What would you say is holding up progress though? I think the things that are holding up progress and really adoption of CTV are, are one, its acceleration into existence has been stark, right? Um, and as a result, you know, this is an industry where I think people tend to do things incrementally over time. Uh, and CTV all of a sudden just kind of appeared and at scale, right? Um, so I think folks are still kind of processing like, well, what do I, how do I have to think about this from a buying and selling perspective? Is it digital? Is it linear? And we're just now kind of coalescing around the notion of it's all video, right? But until I think we can really get into that mindset, there's still gonna be these artificial barriers to adoption. It's not a digital medium, right? It's not short form. It, it is long form like television, but it's not sort of immeasurable and slow to move. It's not like linear. It's, it's more like digital in those regards. Uh, and as I think as people kind of have learned to, to interact with both of those mediums over time, we're just now building the muscle on how to think about it from a video perspective. Give me a little update on what Paramount's doing in the commerce space. So Paramount actually just struck a couple of big relationships that we announced uh, in over our upfront presentation where we're really accelerating our shoppability capabilities. This year, we're kind of coming out with this notion of Paramount is performance media. Television is performance media. Um, all media is performance media, right? Otherwise, people wouldn't buy it. Uh, so this year, we're really investing in two things, right? One, measurement, attribution, showing how well it works. But then the other is creating new tools to sort of continue to take advantage, advantage of that format. And that includes shoppable formats. Okay. And how is AI transforming your business? So it's funny because AI is something that I know is a big buzzword right now and everybody talks about it because we can all go and chat GPT and we're blown away by how amazing it is. But AI has actually existed for a long time, not necessarily generative AI, which is what people mainly say, but machine learning and all of these other pieces. And at Paramount, we've been using techniques and tools like that, right? We have a strong data science team to do everything from how, figuring out how we should price television to uh, understanding what our digital capacities could look like. So it's, it's so far ingrained in all of our businesses and processes that you can't uh, disintermediate those things anymore. As far as like generative AI and how we're coming out with that, we're still right at the beginning of that. And as we think about the impacts that, that can have, especially on things like creative and format and, 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 and those pieces, uh, I think that that's really kind of the next level or next layer of innovation that we're going to see. Um, and of course at Paramount, we're, we're excited to help lead the way on that.